Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we are going to solve this given series that involves radicals 1 divided by square root of 7 plus square root of 8 plus 1 divided by square root of 8 plus square root of 9 and goes all the way to 1 divided by square root of x plus square root of x plus 1 equals to 8 times square root of 7. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's the very first step we are going to do. Let's focus on this very first term 1 divided by square root of 7 plus square root of 8. And here I have copied it down and now we are going to rationalize this uh, denominator by multiplying its conjugate which is square root of 7 minus square root of 8 on both sides. So let me go ahead and write down square root of 7 minus square root of 8 divided by square root of 7 minus square root of 8. Now let's go ahead and multiply this 1 times this uh, quantity on the numerator. Likewise, we are going to multiply these binomials at the denominator as well. Therefore, at the numerator when we multiply these one that is simply going to give us uh, square root of 7 minus square root of 8 divided by and now let's recall this identity a plus b times a minus b is equal to a square minus b square let's go ahead and apply over here so that is going to give us uh, square root of 7 whole square minus square root of 8 uh, whole square so therefore let's go ahead and simplify furthermore that is going to give us square root of 7 minus square root of 8 divided by this uh, square and square root they undo each other we got 7 minus uh, likewise they are gone we got 8 so that means it's going to give us square root of 7 minus square root of 8 divided by negative 1 and if we multiply negative 1 on both sides that could be written as uh, square root of 8 and then minus square root of 7. So therefore we can write 1 divided by square root of 7 plus square root of 8 as square root of 8 minus square root of 7. And now let's focus on this next term 1 divided by square root of 8 plus square root of 9. And here I have copied it down and we are going to rationalize its denominator as well by multiplying and dividing by its conjugate which is square root of 8 minus square root of 9. So let me go ahead and multiply square root of 8 minus square root of 9 divided by square root of 8 minus square root of 9. And now let's go ahead and multiply the numerators and the denominators as well. And here we repeated the same steps as we did in our previous and we ended up with the square root of 9 minus square root of 8. So therefore 1 divided by square root of 8 plus square root of 9 could be written as square root of 9 minus square root of 8. And if we generalize this pattern, we can see that we can write 1 divided by square root of 9 plus square root of 10 could be written as square root of 10 minus square root of 9. And finally, let's focus on this uh, very last term. And here I have copied it down 1 divided by square root of x plus square root of x plus 1. And now if we extend this whole pattern, so this could be written as square root of x plus 1 minus square root of x as you can see over here on the right hand side. So therefore our this above equation is going to become and here I have copied down this above equation. Now let me go ahead and replace uh, this first term by this uh, simplified form. So this will be written as square root of 8 
minus square root of 7. Now let's focus on this second term. I'm going to replace this one by this. So I can write plus square root of 9 minus square root of 8. And the next term I'm going to replace that one by this one. Let me go ahead and write down plus square root of 10 minus square root of 9 and plus we are going to go all the way I am going to replace this one by this simplified one so let me go ahead and write down square root of x plus 1 minus square root of x equals to on the right hand side I'm going to write down 8 times the square root of 7 and now we can see this square root of 8 and this negative square root of is 8 is gone so this positive square root of 9 and negative square root of 9 is gone as well this positive square root of 10 is gone with this next term and likewise it will go on and this term is going to cancel out as well so therefore on the left hand side we are just ended up with the negative square root of 7 plus square root of x plus 1 equals to 8 times square root of 7 and such kind of series is called a telescoping series as it collapses now let's go ahead and move this uh, negative square root of 7 on the right hand side therefore the left hand side is going to be square root of x plus 1 equal to 9 times square root of 7 let's go ahead and undo this square root by squaring on both sides so this left hand side they cancel each other out so we ended up x plus 1 equal to 9 square is 81 times this square and square root undo each other so we ended up with uh, simply 7 now 81 times 7 is going to give us 567 on the right hand side and now let's go ahead and subtract one from both sides this is gone so therefore our x value turns out to be 500 and 66 so thus our solution turns out to be 566 thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye